So I gotta just announce a Stream Deck pedal, this one. I mean, this one. I'm not gonna do a traditional unboxing. I already actually filmed an unboxing for them, but basically it's three pedals in one and it works with your Stream Deck software. It actually comes with interchangeable springs in order to adjust the tension to your needs. And you can also block the middle pedal if you just wanna use it as a footrest and just press the button left and right whenever you want to. The pedals themselves are plastic, but the back is metal. <laughs> Holding it like this feels pretty heavy, pretty sturdy, pretty strong, but um, I'm not a huge fan. Like, I feel like as gamers, everything you give us needs to be a satisfying click. I need the click to be, I know it's a pedal and it's a nor, it's just a spring and a, and a switch in there, but give me a cool click, right? Give me a cool little click. It doesn't have to be noisy. Just make me feel, we're used to pressing on satisfying clicky stuff. Anyways, I know what you're thinking. The first question that went through my mind when they told me they were coming up with a pedal, I was like, why? Why? And then once I actually got to try it, I thought, wait, I might use this. So let me show you a couple of things that I might use it for. The first thing I thought about is that zoom in that every streamer has. People love using it for comedic effect, but with comedic effect comes comedic timing. And the problem is that we see a lot of people just fumble to find their stream deck, press on the right button, look a little confused, and then they can press it. You don't have to do that anymore. If you don't know how to do it, basically you take your webcam source, you're gonna copy it, you're gonna right click again and paste reference, if I can speak, and then you're just gonna scale this up like a lot you can scale it up here boom 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 and then all you have to do is basically turn it off and when you want to turn it on there you go comedic effect so now with the stream deck software all we have to do is get a action from the obs studio drop down here and it's going to be a source right because our second webcam is a source you drag it boom you make sure it's the right collection right now i'm on recording recording boom the scene name is scene and then the source is going to be the second webcam and now we can try it let me press it real quick and it's going to tell you right here that little overlay is actually super helpful let me do So you're playing the game, you can still do comedic effect, go back to it, boom, boom, okay. Oh, someone made a joke. Someone showed up to your chat and called you cute. You know, <laughs> things that happen to me all the time. Now, another thing that happens on my stream is that I create live music. I do live looping. Basically, I'm beatboxing, I'm playing guitar and all of that. And uh, I'm gonna show you what that looks like. So I use this software called Mobius and I have all my shortcuts basically on the stream deck. So I've been using the stream deck to do it. If I can find the, there we go. Profile, Mobius, I'll, I'll, I can do this, I can do this. So this is what it looks like so far. I, I know I need to make custom icons, but there's a problem here. The problem is that if I'm recording with Mobius, so this is Mobius. The thing here is that if I'm creating music, the first loop, I actually need to physically press when I'm starting and when I stop the loop, which I can do if I'm beatboxing like this. And as you can see, it creates a loop, right? I can I can over um, overdub. I can create another loop on another thing. You know, I can go But the problem happens as soon as I have something in my hands. And I want to start the loop and stop the loop without having to touch my stream deck. Let's test it out. <sighs> Did I almost break it by grabbing it? Yes. Okay, so basically what I need to do is make sure that my first button is actually recording the guitar and when I press it again, it will stop. Wait, I haven't tried that yet. So now it's extending basically certain of my buttons automatically to the pedal. But if I drag this and drop it here, Oh, that would be so good though. Instead of putting just three random, that would be great if I could just drag and drop them here. Oh, uh, but can I copy them? I think I can. Right click, copy, go to Stream Deck Pedal, right click, paste, and there it is. So if I press, it works. It works. <laughs> it works. All right, let's try to let's try to do something. I need to get used to it. One, two, three, four. Oh, that's close enough. And from there, it's it's not bad if I overdub or or I can do the rest. Like, let's overdub. We can 
can even beatbox on it if you wanted to. Another thing that I want to use it with is Polypop. Yes, I made a video about Polypop. It's basically OBS but 3D and you can like do particle emissions. So I'm thinking whenever I feel like it or I'm happy, sometimes there's things that are in the moment. It's not necessarily a raid. It's not necessarily like something specific that you can trigger and you would like to trigger it manually. Well, as it turns out, Polypop actually has a Stream Deck plugin. You can find it on their Twitter. They posted it on Twitter. That's where I got it. And you can easily like basically trigger some stuff with it. So what I'm going to do here, I click plus. I'm going to add a new like 3D object that I would like to emit. Let's say stars. Something that I often do is also like dense breaks. So I think that would be cool for a dense break. If I win a game, I can press it and basically celebration, right? Triggered celebration on the spot. I'm going to click add as object emitter and I'm going to click emit burst to see what that looks like. Okay. Okay, that's not bad. We're just going to have more play around with it a little bit. All right, so this is what I came up with and let's see what it looks like. Boom, so I'm going to have this. Let's see how easy it is to actually add to my stream deck. So first of all, we're going to fix the right profile. In my case, it's going to be OBS, for example. I'm going to scroll all the way down. I already installed it. You got to make sure that you actually have the plugin installed to your stream deck. And I'm going to put it as a hotkey. Boom, so that's the hotkey. Which hotkey is it? There's nothing in the list because I didn't create a hotkey. So I'm going to open library. Let's do this. I'm going to click plus and I'm going to add a hotkey. Nice. So right now it is unassigned. Let's go back to the stream deck and you can see hotkey is right there because this is the one that we just created. So if I press this and I just assign it right here on press, I want it to emit burst. I can press on my pedal right now and I press the wrong thing. <laughs> I can press on my pedal right now. It's the middle one. There you go. So if I'm streaming, I don't know, a friend of mine shows up and they're like, we have good news for you. I'm like, oh, let's go. Let's go. This is probably shouldn't be in the middle here, but you get my drift. Let's go. Let's go. Let's. <laughs> I'll probably spend some more time on it to make it perfect, but you get the idea. You get the gist of it. Another way you could use it is probably as a push to talk button when you're on Discord while playing a video game. I know it's complicated if you're holding a controller and all that, but I don't need to show you how to do that. You can also make sure that you have your game scene on it because sometimes, you know, you forget to switch the scene. You go full screen on your game and then chat is like overlay, overlay, overlay. You have to just go boop back on the overlay. Anyways, let me know in the comment section below what you would use it for. Make sure you check Elgato's official posts they show a bunch of examples of what you should be using it for if i'm playing a game in vr and i can't see i think it might be useful to like clip stuff by pressing the middle pedal but yeah we'll see in a couple of weeks if i still use it regularly or not please stop by my stream and ask me twitch.tv slash get level but yeah i'd like to thank elgato for sending the stream deck pedal to me in advance it was a it was an honor this is not a sponsored video i don't have any like contracts with elgato at all i'm not even partnered or anything i believe this goes for 89 dollars now keep in mind yes there are other cheap pedals that you can actually purchase and use for your own like that are probably way cheaper but they're not in the elgato ecosystem they don't have the software that comes with elgato so you decide if that's like worth it i think it can be a huge help and i kind of appreciate elgato for keeping it under 100 dollars oh one more thing since the springs are adjustable i had to take out the back to see how i can you know stop the middle button or just change the springs i realized that you know there's a couple of screws that is that is keeping this would you like to see me basically take it apart and maybe hack it and turn it to something else i'm thinking some sort of you know weird stream deck bracelet well bracelet it's gonna be a whole armband probably let me know if you would like to see that i can't promise that i'm gonna do it i also need to contact elgato to be like yo what are your stance on me hacking your stuff on video <laughs> but yeah thank you so much for watching once again if you're looking for some dope overlays go to gumroad.com slash get level but for now i will thank you for watching go out there make me proud get a level out Commencez à teaser Fuck la lune, c'est le septième ciel que l'on va teaser Et soir, je t'assure que nos sentiments seront plus déguisés Faudrait m'excuser si je suis en train d'abuser Pas de décalage, prête pour le décollage, monte dans ma fusée En voyons ce qu'on Press the wrong button Ma mémé,